went back out at 6 a.m. five days later and I finished fraction burning all those fucking skateboards, what I did. Yeah. And my wife woke up and you have never seen her look like that. Dude, she stood on that she stood on that back porch and looked at me and if looks could kill, I'd be fucking dead. Call me everything she could. Selfish motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And she was right. Um, but I told her, I was like, it was it's like skydiving. You have a cutaway. You have to get back on the next load and go back up. You're going to build it up too much in your head. And I was like, it's a freak accident. I'm lucky enough to be alive. And if I don't do it right now, it's like, this thing will define me right now. And I was like, this isn't who I am. I can't let this fucking thing beat me. I have to do it again. And I think she understood. And we obviously have a different system now and it's very controlled now. Um, I don't let anybody do it around me. <laughs> we, uh, we cut that out of it. But that rehab coming back, um, the very next day we started. I called yeah. Vernon Griffith, my trainer, and we started the very next day with a two-pound dumbbell. Doing the whole thing over again. And it was it was miserable. Damn. And you started uh GBRS group. So we had here. yeah, we had tribe skates and then um yeah, in twenty nineteen, right after that, we started uh GBRS. So that happened in I retired in August. Um that happened in when's Father's Day, July, June. In June July. 19th. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, we started out in September, GBRS. It's like full steam ahead. We got to go. It's focused on rehab every day. Hired a full-time trainer and uh, just focused on rehab, trying to get back. <sighs> it's not really what happened. I, uh, I separated myself from everything. I, um, I used the skateboard shit as a, as a coping mechanism, it was really just an excuse. I, uh, I had to, I had to replace my love for the teams, my love for jumping, and my love for being away from my family. I had to give myself something else, and um, it was the worst thing I ever fucking did, man. I, um, I let my ego get the best of me and started cheating on the old lady, and just pushed them away. I just did. I. Uh, I ran multiple affairs for the better part of two years, um, all the way through. And uh, I pushed out my fucking whole family, man. I, um, I you were no able to reason. keep that shit together for two years. You ran two businesses. You're retiring. You have a family with two kids, and you're doing multiple affairs. And the thing that disgusts me the most about it is because I love the team so much. I put Patsy on a fucking pedestal because of who she was, what she'd already been through.